Seventh grader was shot and killed in Southeast Houston and police are looking for his killer or killers tonight, but they tell us they don't have any suspects yet. ABC 13's Shannon Ryan joins us live from Houston Police Headquarters downtown with this story. Shannon. Tom, well, right now, police say they don't have a potential motive either. The family is understandably devastated and they tell us they want answers. It's a crime that's ripped their hearts open. There's an emptiness of him not being there. Still looking through old photos and videos, they can't help but laugh. 16-year-old <laughs> Jose Mendoza, affectionately known as Tito, had a contagious smile. His sisters say brought people together. Oh my God, I'm like, he was full of life. Full of, yeah. Saturday family and friends. Because we don't get to see the, him anymore, they don't get to see him anymore. They all gathered for Tito, preparing to see him one last time. So we're having barbecue benefit for, for the funeral expenses. We have chicken, rice, beans, potato salad. The Kip East End 11th grader was shot and killed inside this car on Windwater Drive near Windmill Lakes Boulevard, just a few miles from his parents' home early Wednesday night. Witnesses tried to pull him out and save his life. Right now, police say that's about all they know. This is something unexpected. You know, we don't think tomorrow our 16 year old brother won't be here with us anymore. So. The family is having another plate sale tomorrow. That's at 910 Avenue and in Southeast Houston. Again, that's 910 Avenue N in Southeast Houston. It's going to start around 1 o'clock and it'll run until they sell out. Live at Houston Police Headquarters, Shannon Ryan, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.